Uh, so, <coughs> so Moorabbin NDB Alpha approach starts overhead the Navaid at 4,000 feet. We're at 4,000 feet. Tracks outbound 070. No, sorry, inbound 070. That, that makes more sense. Okay, outbound 238. That makes more sense. Okay. There we go. Okay, so currently, based on this, tail of needle indicates where we are. Head of the needle points to where the Navaid is. So if we imagine the Navaid's here, we're here. We're tracking towards it. Uh, their left hand holding patterns, <coughs> pardon me, at 4,000 feet. Tracking 238 outbound, so 238, so about to almost 240. So we'll go direct entry, left hand hold, and then we'll go outbound 238, come inbound 070. Just there, so yeah. Bridge to forward, so we do a direct entry, go outbound 238, and we go outbound for four minutes at a category B aircraft. Make the right hand turn the track 070 outbound. Yeah, inbound. Oh my goodness, getting confused here. Once we're overhead the navade going outbound, we can descend down to 1,400 feet. And once we're established inbound, we can then descend to 720 feet. We've also got the GPS plugged into the Moravan NDB, so we've got DME there as well. Or GPS distance. So we're just under 15 miles away. So off to my left, you've got uh, Mount Dandenong. So you'd have uh, the Lidda, Montrose area, Moorabark sort of suffering wood Croydon over there and then obviously we came from the Yarra Valley area and Mount Sugarloaf in the background there Mount Sugarloaf Reservoir And that'll be Moorabbin here. And we go outbound over Ricketts Point, which is that little pointy bit there. So we're going outbound over Ricketts Point, which is the suburb of Bo Morris. And actually, it's Bo Morris Cafe right on the beach down there. So you pretty much fly overhead that. Come inbound over Black Rock, over here somewhere. And overhead the Navate and do your stuff. Speed's below 140, we can put the gear down. pumps on and we have three greens there we go oh we must have been really close to it that spun pretty quick so we must have been pretty close to it like virtually overhead Maintaining 100 knots, uh, double flight, rate one turn, 4,000 feet, we're going to track outbound for one minute. Start the timer once we are a beam, the Navade, or wings level, whichever comes later. Yeah, looks like it's going to be wings level, because we're already slightly past it. There we go, start the timer. I think it's amazing to think about like what sort of area you cover, just in the holding pattern and the outbound and inbound tracks of the leg, what, what suburbs you cover. It's pretty amazing, it's a large area, if you think about it. That's one minute, so let's continue with our left turn. Once again, staying rate one, same speed, maintaining altitude. Compare the needles with the track we want. This 
probably reach the 270 degrees relative bearing before this one does. Yes, by about yeah, almost 10 degrees, but we're still in a turn, so it'll still continue to close in on the track we want. So we should be okay. If not, it'll be pretty close. It won't take long to re get established. 2.6 miles away from the Navo. close, it's going to be close. And I think the simulator t um, in takes into account turning errors for the NDBs. NDBs are notorious for turning errors. Maybe slightly. But I think I think it's safe to go on, we'll go outbound. Yeah, we've still got 1.5 miles to go. Start the timer. Outbound. Category B aircraft, so we go outbound for four minutes. If it was category C, you go outbound for three minutes. Alright, we can start our descent to 1400 feet. for about 500 feet a minute rate of descent. Close to it. Alright, so about 20 seconds to go. And we can descend to 1400 feet. So this hand can go around to here. Ten seconds. Four minutes. Okay, it's 2,000 feet. We can go to 1,400 feet because we are currently over the bay. close compared the needles with the track we want. 1400 feet's our limit until we are established. 300 feet to go. Ooh, have to. Oh, look at that, that's pretty good. We'll keep going down at 720. Just intolerance. Just we're intolerance. We can keep going to 720, which is just to here. So it's actually not far away now, altitude-wise. We're with intolerance, but we're not quite on track. Yeah, that's probably about five, six degrees. I think I'm only just in tolerance. Coming inbound over the Black Rock area. Bay Morris is over there. We went outbound. The field will be just ahead of us. We're at 740 feet. Clearly we're visual. And obviously in such a busy environment, in these conditions, you would actually be keeping an eye out, out here more than you would in here. And if it was real IFR, you'd be doing a GPS approach, not, not an NDB approach. Because that'll get you closer to the ground. Carrying that far out over the water is fine in a twin, but in a single engine it's a bit dodgy. So. And the Nav 8 is located right next to the Air Museum at the airport. Which is there. That's the NDB there. Yep. 
So we're pretty close to on track. And obviously normally you wouldn't overflow the field at this altitude. It's the parallel runways and active traffic. And we'll get station passage any second now. There we go, air station passage. Awesome. Okay, post-flight analysis. Uh, we started off over here, over the, the uh, Yarra Valley area and Mount Sugarloaf, which is right there, which we came inbound on. We came inbound to the nav, nav aid over the suburbs of Melbourne, hit the nav aid, entered the hold. As you can see, the hold is overhead the airport. And it was a left-hand turn. It was a direct entry. Outbound for one minute, we did our left-hand turn to come back inbound. And that's the Springvale South suburb. So you go from Rabin, Springvale South, coming back inbound. Not that you think of it that way in terms of piloting. And you can see we went outbound on the outbound leg, just over Ricketts Point, just as the map on the approach plate depicts. Went outbound, did a right-hand turn, came inbound. You can see I had a little bit of issues with the tracking there, but we got it in. Came in over Black Rock, back to the nav aid. You can probably tell where the nav aid is based on where the lines all intersect. So yeah, overall, looks pretty good. Looks pretty much as depicted in the approach plate. Uh, category C go more out this way. Out this way more. Give them more speed, more time to maneuver. But they come inbound on the same track. So there you go. That looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Hope you found this video of interest. It's uh, something a bit different. I've... Um, put the aircraft accident videos on hold for the moment just because I am going to upgrade my screen to 4k and I want to do those ex aircraft accident videos in 4k so I'm going to do these ones for the time being oh look this traffic Oscar x-ray mic and I can guarantee you it's not a jet I'm going to install props so that it flies the correct aircraft anyway uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching